It's Sarah. I'm back again, and I have my Star Trek blind bag that I got from Ben's Toy Bin. And I don't know much about Star Trek, but fortunately, I live with somebody who's a pretty uh, well-known expert in Star Trek stuff. So I have brought along Francis, my boyfriend. So Francis, I'm not so sure about well-known, but but I will say that uh, perhaps I am somewhat of an expert in some of the stuff. I do collect actual screen used props and costumes and very large set pieces from Star Trek films and television. So let's get on with opening up the bag and see what we have here. Well first let's just say that you, you own some of the actual costumes. You Many specialize, of them. yes, and in the Ferengi <laughs> genre. <laughs> yes I do and I have a pretty very deep collection of, of costumes. In yes. fact a lot of them in our, are in our living room as we speak at this time. <laughs> uh, and other rooms, yes. <laughs> and other rooms. And we also owned the Dabo table. The actual Dabo table from Deep Space Nine is in our living room. Yes, yes it is. Yes it is. <laughs> yes. It is sharing the room with the television and the couches. <laughs> I think the TV is sharing its room, but that's okay. It's 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 big. Right, okay. So anyway, let's uh move right along and let's open up let's take a look at our bag first of all. This is what the bag looks like. And if we turn it over, it gives us the six different characters we could possibly get out of the blind bag. Are you familiar with all these characters, Francis? Well, most of them have been on television or movie, but there's a couple of them that they had made specifically for Creo. So the Lieutenant Sprog is an actual character, although not by name, uh, although not in any of the movies, just it's invented for this. Uh, Gracia here is actually one that was seen in both Star Trek 2009 and Into Darkness. But Sprague is a unique character for Creo. Okay, well that's good to know. So do you want to do the honors in opening up the bag? I'll give it a shot. Let's see what we've got inside here. Okay. <laughs> so as you can see, they've got a little spot here. You can just tear it right open. That's pretty nice. Let's see if I can do that. I'm pretty capable. <laughs> Sometimes not so much. Let's take a look what we have here. Oh, we and got a little card in there too. A little card for Gracia. Oh, it looks like we got Gracia. And it looks like that's exactly what we have here is Gracia. That's kind of cool. Oh, Look at cool. That. Okay. Well, let's uh, show them the card here. I kind of like the head. It's kind of a weird looking head. And it looks like you maybe you get a phaser in there too. They do have a, yeah, because this character here, even though not called by name on screen, was seen in Star Trek 2009 as an officer on board the bridge of the Kelvin. Um, in star date 2233. Okay, well, let's put the little character together. Now, is Gracia a female or male? The gender of the character is not set on screen, nor is it set on any production materials. Um, let's see. So, literally, it could be a boy or a girl and oh. with, with no problem. Okay. Oh, well, this is interesting. I like how the legs are a little bit different than the Lego minifig because they kind of go a lot of different directions. So that's kind of interesting. They've got more of a ball and socket type of assembly. Yeah, and there's the phaser. Stay. There we go. And it looks like it even came with a little stand. So, put it on the stand. Now, remember, kids, don't look directly into a phaser. Always... <laughs> Play with a phaser like it's always loaded, so make sure it's not pointed towards other kids. <laughs> Let's change the camera angle so we can get a closer view of the character. All right, well, here's the 360 shot of our Star Trek character we got today. Well, Francis, I really appreciate you joining me today on my video. I'm glad I could be of some help. <laughs> Maybe we could do some more uh, videos in the future. That would be lots of fun. If you need me, I'll be here for you. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you everyone for watching, and I will see everyone in the next video. See ya!